Are there really fairy tale endings in birth? Well, what should we do now? Are you so scared of birth that you're just resolved to show up and let everybody else manage it for you? I'm having my first contraction. Oh, uh, oh. oh it's not bad. Okay. No questions about your body or what's being done to you or your baby? That was kind of my plan. I was terrified. But then I kept hearing all these really bad birth stories when they did that. Oh! <laughs> Gare? Yeah? I changed my mind. I want that epidural. I want it, Gary. No, no, honey. Yep. No, 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 no. You said you yep. didn't want it, and you said that even if you did ask for it, that that would just be the crazy talking. <laughs> oh, Gary! Get me the juice! And then I heard really good birth stories when they didn't do that. So I kind of didn't know what to do. But the more and more I heard of the good birth stories, those women couldn't stop talking about it. And then I kind of started to shift in thinking that's the kind of birth that I wanted. Fairy tale endings begin now. What I discovered was it's time to connect with your baby today. Make every day count. And then start to figure out how you can focus on getting more laughter, more giggles, more sex, more yummy, more self-care into everyday life with this baby. That's what creates oxytocin, which is the love hormone, and that gets you starting to attract the right people and the right ideas for the kind of birth that you want. Next, let go of the picture of what you think birth is supposed to look like. A good birth does not have to be non-medicated and vaginal. What if circumstances dictated that you had to have a C-section? Let's change the language to belly birth. The first thing you need to do is prep your baby. Tell that baby why you're nervous, why you're scared, and then start finding things that make you less nervous. A good care provider that can provide a family-centered cesarean where it's more mother-focused. The lights are dimmed, your music's on, your support partner is there, your doula can switch in and out if your support partner's not there. That's how you bring in the baby in the right way. That calms everything down. And last, get the best out of hospital education you can. I'm sure there are some hospitals that have good education, but if you step out of the hospital and you get some education that leaves you confident and prepared, you're gonna feel a little bit different about the birth situation. One is you need to make sure that that education is preparing you to work with your staff, because working with your staff instead of going in with your dukes up for a fight changes the whole dynamic of your birth. That can create that fairy tale ending, just that one little bit. Just because it's a belly birth doesn't mean that birthday should be any less honored. It's still beautiful and it's the one way your baby's gonna be born. It should be gorgeous. And remember, it's not about you, it's about your baby. If you like this video, share it with a friend and subscribe to our page. And for more information, go to birtheducationcenter.com to help rewrite your birth.